Our number this week is the number three. So what we have here is the number line. Here's the number three. Now to make a number three, you go, you start at the top, you go around a tree, around a tree. That's how you make the number three. So there's like a little poem to help you remember. And on the number line, remember number lines usually start with zero and then they can go up as high as you want. This one goes to 10. We're gonna to try to find number three on the number line. So if we start at zero and we make one, two, three jumps, we land on number three, okay? A number bond, if we're making the number three, there's lots of different ways that you can make number three. What I'm gonna do try, is to try to explain it to you is I'm gonna grab three markers, okay? Here are three markers, all right. Now I can split these up and go one over here and two over here and one and two, when you put them together, makes three, okay? So, and then I could write that in the number bond. One marker and two more markers, when you put them together, makes three. For a number sentence, you could say one plus two equals three. Over here, for counters, since we're doing triangles this week, I thought it might be fun to make three triangles because you could draw anything over here. So that's one, oops, and maybe I'll make one upside down, two, and three. And I have them going all different directions, but there are three of them. One, two, three triangles. Tally marks, this is, tally marks are just lines. So tally, three tally marks would be one, two, three tally marks. On a 10 frame, this is what three looks like on a 10 frame. One, two, and three. Now that I've shown you everything on here about number three, you know a little bit more about the number three and you can practice writing it because sometimes that can be tricky. If you make it backwards at first, it's okay. Just erase it and try again. Um, you'll get it eventually.